up, guys? Well, today, I left work early. I wish the circumstances were better. I have to go to a funeral for a good friend of mine's dad. But, um, wow, we have a 65 degree day today here in upstate New York, and it is gorgeous, man. I could, I could deal with this every day, all year round, I think. Except for, you know, everything's thawing out and it's making it all muddy, but Lord, it is nice. We got the old Tundra out today. We gotta make a, uh, oh, I worked half a day today from where I work to my hometown is about two and a half hour ride. So we're going back to the hometown today again for that, but it's always good to visit. Just wish the circumstances were better. The plus side to it is, um, gives us all time to enjoy this beautiful day. I mean, this is great. Well, I put in the head order for the headers for the SS to match the cat back that I bought. So it's going to be nice. It's going to sound sick. Um, it's going to be a complete catless setup. Um, so I'm going to have to have it tuned, but I'm okay with that because, well, ultimately it's going to make more power and that's, that's the goal, you know? Hopefully the fitment is nice. I've watched some videos on YouTube of other people using these Manzo or Manzo, whatever they're called, headers on their cars. And uh, there wasn't a lot of uh, consistency with the fitment. Some people had a really good time putting them in, they fit real nice. Some people had some rubbing issues in places and they had to modify the headers a little bit. But, you know, when you're customizing and modding, that's all things that you kind of got to uh, keep in mind because aftermarket parts almost never fit like factory. It's going to give me a lot better look though. Open the hood, see those nice polished stainless steel headers shine her up found some little knick-knacky engine dress up things I'm gonna be ordering too just I like to go to car shows in the summer and anything to doll it up a little bit I'm not expecting it to be a uh, show winner because it is black and black is never perfect no matter what you do but I like to go I like to enter my car I like to you know have fun gonna be a driver guys and I am gonna drive it hard but we'll get back to you in a little bit here so here's the main purpose of this video guys I don't have a whole lot of subscribers or viewers so this may not work ideally if I had a bigger channel I could get more results for this you know what I'm saying um, what I'd like to do this summer, I would like to host, I have a few people willing to sponsor this, and I believe that I have a sufficient area to do this in. Now, I want to sponsor, I want to do a modern muscle slash import tuner car show because here's the thing in my area 90% of the car shows you go to are old school muscle old school cars and yes they have classes for our newer um, import cars tuner cars they always do that but around here they always 
blend. They have a class, they usually have classes for Camaros if they decide to do classes. Sometimes they just pick top 25 or top 50 or whatever. Um, but on those, even when they do the top 25, top 50, or they class this modern muscle in with classic old school hardcore muscle, it it's very hard. It seems to me that the newer stuff, as gorgeous as it is, never or rarely places because when these judges go around, of course they're gonna pick the car that somebody found in a barn with the quarter panels rotted off it. That was basically a heap. And somebody spent years and years restoring, paying thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars to do this. So it, it kind of puts us at a disadvantage, guys. So I wanna do a show where it's modern muscle. And when I say modern, I'm talking like early 2000s to present or early 90s to present because that's when like the newer body style the uh, when they started making the more modern style Mustangs and Camaros and stuff you know what I'm saying by modern I mean when they streamlined everything made it round and aerodynamics started to come into play a little bit because I feel like when you classify cars of that age put them in with the newer mix it still gives a fair advantage to everybody and then the, the import guys I love import cars that's what I was into for a lot of years I still am even though I have a Camaro now and those guys are at a disadvantage in my area they don't have a lot of import car shows so I want to do something for them and for us and all the judges would be non-biased or better still I could set it up as a ballot where it's um, spectators choice or um, everybody who votes enters a car you know and you're not allowed to vote for yourself like you'll vote for vehicles of different class like the modern muscle guys would vote for the tuner cars and the tuner cars would vote for the modern muscle so that way there's no bias everybody's hands are clean it's a fair fight you know um but please somebody like i want to get this going i have a, i have an idea for these proceeds and tell me if this is wrong tell me if you have a better idea but in my previous video when i was talking about you know if i was a millionaire i would build a reliable or find a reliable vehicle pick it up cheap and fix it up and give it to a low income family. Well, that's what I would like to do. Um, I know people that work closely with low income families to make sure that, whoops, to make sure they have everything they need and who could have a good vibe of people who could use this vehicle. And I would like to Basically, I take the proceeds from the show, find a reliable, decent, rust-free vehicle, fix it up, and make it inspectable, reliable, safe, and basically I get a list of names of these families that could use a reliable vehicle, and at the end of the show, we'll, in front of everybody, we'll draw a name out of the hat of who this vehicle is going to go to. You know what I'm saying? So that way, with whatever budget, whatever proceeds I get from the show, the people who win this can give us an idea of what type of vehicle would work the best for them and their family, depending on how many kids they have or their work situation or I just feel like this would be an awesome thing because everybody, I've been to a lot of car shows that do the cancer thing or the um, like children hospital things and you know we, uh, those are all great causes but in the big picture of things like those are huge foundations, those are huge um, things that people uh, 
donate to. So our the small difference that we make as a group of car enthusiasts doesn't really stand out. I want us, the car community, to be able to do something that will stand out. So please, anybody who has any input or anything, anybody who can shotgun this video out, get people on board with me, I would love to do this. I, it would be a great thing, I think. Um, if anybody can think of a better type of thing to put proceeds to, if I can make this happen. Remember guys, I'm gonna need an amazing turnout to make this happen. Otherwise, we'll still do something. We'll still do something great with it. But, thank you. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching. Please hit me up. Please help me get the word out about this. Remember, this is like upstate New York, um, Vermont, New Hampshire. This is gonna be something where all these three, this, this tri-state area can be a part of. So please let me know. Hey, before I forget, the modern pickups, trucks, foreign trucks, you know, all the things that also are at a disadvantage in truck classes at shows would also be welcome. I'm sorry that this is all out of whack. Um, I got on my whole spiel once again and got um, lost in transition. But trucks would be more than welcome to. Lifted, lowered, you know, you know the drill, guys. But please like subscribe hit me up get this out there i know there's a lot of youtubers a lot of people who use youtube in the tri-state area and i want to get this going thank you have a good day